Well folks, I never thought I'd admit it on camera. I officially have a problem. I drank all this beer during the Super Bowl. <laughs> I'll have to buy some more. Anyway, yeah, give me a hangover. So I'm waiting on a message from a chap on eBay where I found some slip rollers. It appears that CJ Machinery Company is a no-go. There's uh, no accounts on companies house for them or anything like that, so I think they're, they're gone. I rang him up, he said he had no machines, but this chap on eBay got in touch with me. Now he has two sets of rollers. One of them's a big hand-driven six foot set. Looks pretty impressive to me. And then the other set is some that Froggy pointed me at. It's the same seller, ironically. And these are powered rollers, but they're only five foot in length. But the bonus is they have, of course, a motor to drive them. These are about 300 pound more expensive than the first set. So the plan is to drive to Oldham, which is where they are, and at the very least have a look. Right, I've spoken to the chap from Oldham, his name is Sean, and he said the man who owns the rollers will not take less than £1,200 for the three phase powered rollers. He said, uh, I can see them working, and he'll load them up for me, and they're proper. He said, they're not made out of Chineseium. So I think it might be worth a punt. Like I said the other day, weigh it up. Roll five tanks, £200 plus VAT, I'm now told by uh, this other fabrication company. So it's £221 plus VAT to roll five tanks, 1100 quid plus VAT. So it's best part of 1300 right? Buy these for 1200 roll my tanks, same amount of money, got some rollers. It really is a no-brainer for me, so I hope that they work. And I just, I was anticipating spending £1,200 on some hand crank rollers, you know. If these are powered, it's going to be brilliant, isn't it, really? Let's go and check them out. So, first things I've got to do is go to the bank and get some readies. I've got £700 there from the pub, so I need to dip into my savings and get another... £500 out at least, and maybe some fuel money to drive over there, and then the company's just going to have to owe me it. So let's get some more cash out. I'm going to walk into the bank. I'm not going to take the camera, they'll think I'm some type of weirdo. Uh, and then I'm going to pick the van up, got to come back here, collect the kids for half past three, drop them off at the old Queen's house, maybe pick Stuart up, bring the brawn, you know what I mean, in case we get into any trouble. And then uh, shoot across to Oldham, see what we can do. Right, tyres inflated. Uh, got 10 minutes to pick the kids up and then we're off to Oldham. I brought my bodyguard with me just in case anyone tries stealing the reddies. Yeah, did you wait your bits this morning, you? No, I had a uh, avocado and caramelised egg. God, you've changed. Uh, Pitta. That was wrong, it wasn't that. Holy smokes, folks. She made it in one freaking piece. <laughs> He's attacking me. <laughs> Hardened steel, four foot rollers, five foot, five foot, aren't they still? Uh, 50 inches. 
three phase, big off, big, big off, big fuck off motor. Forward reverse. That's the uh, back roller wheel. She is an absolute peach. Got the bear in the bush in on there. Oh my god. So, she's going to sit in here tonight because it is 8 o'clock. And that's going to pretty much be the vlog for today because tomorrow's going to be a busy one. We'll see you then.